you could have uh, said, I don't want this material to be used, or... Well, I wouldn't do that, but... Um, well, because she's such a lovely person, I think that she convinced me. And she was so determined, and there's something really special about Pinkett. So, yes, that's why. Did everything that's in the movie... No, did, was there actually a lot of stuff that happened between the two of you that didn't end up in the movie? I'll ask that question to Nika. <laughs> you don't want. It was about, the first conversation was about three hours, and then she said, you can't use any of it. So, <laughs> yes. And I said, I'm only going to use the stuff where we talk about flying doctors. Is that all right? She said, all right, that's all right. So, now, there, the, of course, it was uh, about 100 tapes of 60 minutes, so you can imagine. Not with Liz, of course, but um, the whole film. So it, there is a lot not used. I've interviewed a couple of people in this audience uh, for a scene that, sadly enough, didn't make it. But I went to the, the now new Flying Doctor fans, or the old fans, and uh, I even had material, somebody sent me material from the Flying Doctor fan days in the beginning of the 90s, and I found myself as a little girl uh, in the audience, so the camera went, and I just saw a glimpse of myself, but it also didn't make it. Well, I have to say, I think both of you are, are extremely courageous in sharing this with the audience. So I want to compliment you on that, really. Um, how difficult was it for you to get this production uh, financed? You say somewhere in the movie that it's very low budget, but eventually...